Kevin Hunter here on the Business Forum Show, and my special guest is Ben Harris from Sharp Creative, and you can find him online at sharpcreative.net, and his contact number is 612-638-0270. Well, welcome to the show, Ben. Thanks, Kevin. Talk about uh, about your background, because you're involved in uh, branding, naming companies, coming up with logos, all that kind of good stuff, but before you had the company that you have now, um, you were doing this for 11 and a half years in this industry. Talk about that and what got you started in uh, doing marketing and branding to begin with. Absolutely, yeah. I've always had a love for art and uh, was exposed to some of those things in some school classes. I was fortunate enough to get my first job in the advertising industry the day after I graduated high school. Okay. And uh, started as a junior designer at an agency here. Worked for 11 and a half years there, as you mentioned. And by the time I left to start my own business, I was the creative director and senior designer there for about six years. Ah, Okay. And so you've always had a passion in, in, in the artsy stuff? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you, you then started this business, what, four years ago? That's right. Okay. And with a couple partners. So um, how did, what made you decide that doing a partnership was the thing to do? And you know, what are some of the, the uh, positive things that the partners bring to the table that help round things out? For Absolutely. You? Well, the partners gave me an opportunity to help combine some assets with both their business and my business. Both of us are in professional services industries, Mm -hmm. which means that we could share resources, materials, expertise, marketing tactics, all types of things like that, that although we're in separate industries, really complement each other well. Mm -hmm. Also, the combination of our services work very well together in certain markets. So Mm -hmm. it was a good fit for us to get together, share some space, share some common goals, and help to uh, to grow each other's companies that mm-hmm. way. So talk about some transitions that you had to make in going from being an employee um, in a marketing firm to actually having your own organization. Talk about some of the challenges at startup. Absolutely. Uh, there were some challenges at startup, uh, to be sure. I was presented with this opportunity by who were at the time clients of mine, now partners of mine. Mm -hmm. Uh, They saw an opportunity for us to work together very well and they allowed us uh, the opportunity to take a look at that. Um, At the time, I had been married for 18 months. I had just bought my first house. My wife knew what this dream meant to me to start my own agency. Mm -hmm. And so she had offered that I go ahead and pursue the dream. She'd catch me if I fall. Mm-hmm. And she made me a promise to uh, to make sure that I was able to take that opportunity to see how that worked for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, when she made that promise to me, I also made a promise to myself to never have to take her up on that, Kevin. Yeah. And uh, so for the first three months, I was really scraping by. I was doing everything yeah. I possibly could to save a penny. I, w- I was probably living below the poverty line at the point and focusing 100% of my energy on growing the business. Mm -hmm. And uh, as we were developing some of the key tools that we use to help businesses, Mm -hmm. some of those ideas really started resonating with the business community. Mm -hmm. And as a result of that, we saw a significant increase in growth. And only after about three months, I was able to be cash positive without ever taking out a loan, Mm -hmm. without ever needing to get in a position where I felt like I was... Uh, concerned about my debt to income ratio mm-hmm. and simply tightened the belt for a while and saw that grow in a positive way. So now, privately held, cash positive business, zero debt on the books, and we've got a bright future ahead of us. Well, obviously, you're doing some things right for organizations for that to be the case because there could very easily be a, a very different story <laughs> that you could be sharing <laughs> That's here. Right, yeah. we, we've seen a lot of businesses go through startup and uh, Unfortunately, as we look at the statistics out there, uh, a million plus people start a business venture of some sort every year, and only 4% actually see a 10-year anniversary. So there's a lot of people that fall out in, in the process, and certainly your organization is in a healthy position at an early stage, which is unlike several that are out there. So one of the things I want to talk about that you mentioned in our conversation uh, beforehand, identifying your client. And a lot of organizations that are, you know, even have been in business for some time really fail to recognize that there is an ideal client for their business. 
and what they're marketing and how they're positioning their messaging out there has to be around who that client actually is. So talk about the, the process that you take somebody through to help them identify who their client actually is. Absolutely. So as any small business owner knows who has marketed before, there is a certain amount of guesswork and there's a certain amount of assumptions in marketing, right? right. Many business owners uh, tend to tackle those types of things themselves. They try different things that come out. They may or may not measure the results and they get the results that they, that they get. Um, the focus of Sharp Creative is to position that business with as much research as possible to make sure that they have intelligently formed decisions on how and why they're spending their marketing dollars in certain places. So it's a three-part process that we provide our clients. The first step of it is to identify and profile who your best customer is. Mm -hmm. You're not going to hit a target if you don't know where to aim. So who is that customer? What, what about them makes them a good customer? Mm -hmm. And conversely, who are you? What is your unique selling position? What, what's, your, what's your value proposition to that customer? Why does anybody care about you, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And on the other side of the coin, that customer, what, what, do, what do they get out of the deal, right? What's the benefit for them using your service, right? If I understand both sides of that conversation effectively, I'm able to very effectively create marketing communication materials that bridge that communication gap, right? Mm -hmm. Marketing is simply a form of communication, right? It's a visual form of communication, but it's communication. Mm -hmm. So the first step is to identify and profile who that best customer is. Once we know who we're talking to, then we can create strategies to reach those customers effectively. Mm -hmm. All customers like to be approached in ways that are, you know, kind of amenable to them, right? Mm -hmm. And so they're looking for an easy access point to do business with people. So where are your customers? How can they be found? How are they best approached, right? Mm -hmm. When we understand that landscape, then we're in a very good position to create and execute these marketing materials that come in, you know, all, the, all of the forms that you might imagine, right? naming companies, creating logos, business cards, brand standards documents, printed marketing materials, web-based materials, uh, motion graphics, mm -hmm. all of those types of things to help communicate a message to the correct audience. Excellent. Well, all great stuff, Ben. And then, you know, you mentioned uh, before as well, understanding then how those customers actually engage with your organization, what their buying habits are, um, understanding what settings they're doing business with you, all good stuff. Uh, my guest here on the show, Ben Harris, you can find him on the web, sharpcreative.net. Again, the website, sharpcreative.net and the contact number 612-638-0270, 612-638-0270. Kevin Hunter here on the Business Forum Show. Thanks for listening.